Good evening. Welcome to Moments with Mary. Today, October the 11th, 2021. This is indeed a magnificent Monday. I want you to think of as many adjectives as you can that begins with M to describe this day. And once you have given this some thought and you have your number, I want you to share the count with me. So today I want to wish happy birthday to some very, very uh, important people. Uh, want to wish happy birthday to Grant Smith, my brother, Chris Chapman, a nephew, uh, Dwight Hardy, a brother-in-law, Reverend Charles Hardy, my father-in-law, Day John, who is a nephew, Emma, who is my sister in law, who is deceased, Jessica, a niece, Uncle Elmer, and Stanley. So if I have missed also my granddaughter, can't forget her. Alicia, who is a freshman at Tulane University in New Orleans, a double happy birthday to Alicia. I hope I have not missed, let's see, I have more birthdays. My friend Maxine Harris, uh, a grand, another grandson, Christopher McWright. DJ Cox, Davida Smith. Okay, I think I've got it. If I've missed them, if I missed your birthday, let me know and I will share it on Monday. But I believe I have all birthdays for October. I am also declaring October as hot tamale month. So I want to salute Mrs. Cordelia Jackson, a native of Greenville, Mississippi, and my true friend. Mrs. Jackson made hot tamales with a special taste. I'm a native of McGee, Mississippi, and had never tasted or even had a hot tamale until I moved to the Delta. Mrs. Jackson, Mrs. Cadelia Jackson, introduced hot tamales to me, and the rest is history. Mrs. Jackson was an excellent cook and had some of the best hot tamales in Greenville. Her love for family and friends was frequently displayed throughout through the doors of her kitchen. She made great personal sacrifices, caring for the least of them. You never left her home hungry or sad. A joke or two and an opportunity to serve a delicious meal made her happy. She's known in the family. She was known in the family as the world's greatest grandmama. She dearly loved her children. Mrs. Jackson was my special friend and I really miss her. I could visit Mrs. Jackson and she let me know what was going on in Greenville in five seconds. So you know I miss her. 
I I missed last Monday because Facebook was down. So I have a little more to share today than I have had in the past. I have read a couple of books about hot tamales this uh, for the last week. Um, I read Too Many Tamales by Gary Soto and Ed Martin. And this is a an outstanding children's book. It's about a young lady, a girl, who ended up, along with her friends, eating too many hot tamales. The young lady's name is Maria. And she really wanted to be growner or grown up and help her mother make hot tamales. Her mother would allow her to wear lipstick and her apron. But her mother had a ring that she wore and her daughter always wanted to wear it, but her mother wouldn't allow it. So as they were making hot tamales, her mother put the ring down and Maria picked it up, put it on her fingers, continued to uh, mix the masa that's used to make hot tamales. And she thought she let, lost the ring in the tamales, but she did not. Her mother had the ring. So in the process of her thinking that she had lost the, the ring in the tamales, afterwards she thought about it and shared it with her friends and told them what she thought she had done, but mother had the ring. So they ended up eating all of the hot tamales that they prepared, hoping to find the ring, but the ring was not there Mother had the ring on her finger. But in the meantime, they prepared another batch of hot tamales, had eaten all the previous hot tamales, so they all ended up with a stomach ache. And that is Too Many Tamales by Gary uh, Soto. That can be found at the book gallery. Also, Ann Martin has written a book, Delta Hot Tamales, which can be found at the book gallery. The Hot Tamale Festival is coming up this weekend, and it begins on the 14th through the 16th. And I want to say congratulations to Al Brock, who is the Hot Tamale King, and Nettie Seard, who is the Hot Tamale Queen. So that's Hot Tamale Festival is going on uh, beginning on Thursday this week. So if you were in Greenville area, uh, come and share the Hot Tamale Festival with us this weekend. I found two poems um, about hot tamales. Um, I'll read a portion of two uh, this is Hot Tamale by Dan Smith jo Johan Johnson, and it reads, Man from Guatemala, educator, hot tamale, lessons learned, admiration, churn, another's love, a young heart burns from a darkest fear you drew love near. Esteem encroached by promises cloaked. Straightforward, real, life had zeal. It was a huge ordeal living had been. Battered by sin until that day you ran my way. My mind would mend, subdued was evil's trend. As fears were peeled, you taught me to feel numbness 
and pain no longer could gain, no longer could gain. Death grips on my soul, lost its control, stifling hurt, desire, demise. You pierced my heart, oh, those jet black eyes. Kindness bequeathed, new hope dearly reached. The man from Guatemala, my honey, hot tamale, through love, helped me find myself. Now I live. And that's a seems like more of a love poem. And the second poem is hot tamales. Hot tamales are my favorite candy to eat. So uh, hot tamales are not only uh, uh, vegetable tamales, but you can also get hot tamale candy. And this is what this is all about. Give me a box or two. I'd sure love it if you do. If I didn't have any more of my favorite candies, I think I'd shout. Cinnamon flavor tamales is what it's all about. Don't you see? If I have tamales, I'm as happy as can be. Just give me a box of my favorite candy. That would be just dandy. Hot tamales are my favorite candy to eat. Having one is quite a treat. And that's hot tamale candy. If you are near the book gallery this week, come by, visit with me, and I'll share a box of candy hot tamales with you. Understand that there is a national marker, hot tamale marker, located in Rosedale, Mississippi. So the sign stands outside the White Front Cafe, which opened in the 1970s and remains one of Mississippi Delta's beloved restaurants despite its limited menu of pickles, penny candy, and yes, hot tamales. So if you're in the Rosedale area, look for the hot tamale marker. I hope I've covered everything that I'd planned for today. I want to thank you for listening and watching. Come by and visit the, the book gallery. Also, visit the website shopairs.com for more books um, from the book gallery. I want to, again, thank you for listening and watching. Like I said, I hope I covered everything I planned to cover today because I missed last week. But if I didn't cover it, I will pick up where I left off last week. I want to thank all of you for watching. I see Lynette, Deborah watching. The book gallery is located at 647 South Theobald Street in Greenville, Mississippi. All right, and if I'm not there, I said you can contact me at 662-820-5047 and just visit www shopairs.com for more books found in the library in the book gallery so again i want to thank you for listening and watching uh, and i will see you next week thanks again bye bye i love you